All right, in this video, I got a few different concepts that are very important and overlooked by a lot of cowboys. And that is, we're gonna talk about rubber, uh, your saddle horns, and dallying, okay? Um, so we're gonna go start from the finish from uh, how to wrap your saddle horn. And this is gonna be a great video. You're gonna pick up a lot of tips along the, along this video so make sure you stay and watch the whole thing all right let's get to it all right so here we go this uh video is going to be talking about the saddle horn okay and the rubber that goes on it all right so this is how i've had it and it needs this is this has been used for a long a long time so i'm going to redo this to show you how y'all can do this and do it the best way so I'm gonna take this rubber off and I'm gonna start from scratch, show y'all everything y'all need to do from where to get this rubber and also what rubber is the best rubber to get, okay? So first thing you gotta do is you got two options. You can go buy your own rubber, like at a tag shop, or you can make your own rubber and real cowboys make their own rubber i've been doing this my whole life i've never bought rubber from a store i've always went and made my own and i did it it's the best way to do it so i'm gonna teach y'all how to do that and first thing you gotta do to get your own rubber is you're gonna find a tire shop Okay, get an inner tube. So, I wanna, if you know of a tire shop, just Google some tire shops. They'll give you a old inner tube somewhere. So I've got one just right down the road from my house. And I'm about to go pick out some rubber. And there's also a few tips. You're gonna need to know when you're looking at all this rubber, what's the best type. So, I'll see y'all once I get there. Just pulled into the tire shop, so let's go see what they got. So I just caught them like just before they're closed and they're locking up the gate and stuff. So I didn't have enough, much time to show the whole how I pick the inner tube, but I got, they gave me one real quick out of their stack, but I'll talk more about that once I get home. All right, so here's the inner tube I picked up. So some tips that I give you guys when you're out, you know, if you get, they just, usually they got just some all over the place, like a tire shop, you know, and they kind of just handed me this one. I didn't get to exactly pick it, but it's not, it's pretty good. I, if I went to go pick one out, I'd probably pick one out like this too. So things to keep in mind is that like I have some of these inner tubes, they've got slime on the inside of them, like that green slime. And you don't want that. Like you could get it and then rinse it all off, but it's just a mess. So like this one, I can feel it. It feels pretty dry in there when you rub them together. It's not like slimy on the inside of there. So when you cut this, it's not gonna have just a mess of green slime in there. And the thinner the rubber is, like this rubber, you want pretty thin, like a thin inner tube. I've used an inner tube that was like super thick it was like a, almost like a, a giant tractor inner tube <laughs> and the rubber on there was so thick you know it was like once you cut it, it is pretty thick and I put it on the saddle and it didn't did not grip the dally when I dallied it did the dally would not hold very good so there we go I'm going to show you all how to what you want to do is you're going to get scissors and you're going to want to cut this and you're going to make little little uh little uh sections little slices of these and put them on your saddle horn so let's get started all right this stuff is not the easiest to cut so you're gonna want to get a good pair of scissors or whatever you got to do to cut this stuff you get it all right this stuff be pretty hard to cut with scissors so i'm using a utility knife with a piece of wood underneath it 
act as like a cutting board. So. All right, now, this is a pretty good piece right there. All right, maybe you want it maybe two fingers width, and then there is your first piece. So just cut up, I mean, the whole thing as much as you need. Usually it takes, I must guess, seven or eight pieces of these for one, for, to wrap one horn, but this stuff doesn't last forever, so it's good to carry a bunch of backups. All right, here's a quick comparison of the old rubber that came off my saddle horn and here's the new rubber I'm about to put on that I just got from here um, so I mean there's no point this stuff is free there's no point in trying to use old rubber like I'm pulling stuff off my saddle that's that's completely torn up so I mean that stuff was on my saddle horn. Another tip, when you're cutting this stuff, you can slice it and then basically the first piece is real easy, the second piece isn't that easy, but when you cut it once, it's got like a, like a line in it, you can just almost tear it. All right, let's put this on the new saddle horn. So usually when I'm putting this on, I'll have my horse, I'll have my horse saddle up to it. I'll be on the horse. Um, yeah, so you put it on the saddle horn. All right, you can pull it. You want to pull this, put a twist in it, and then go like that. And just repeat the process. You put a twist in it, and then you go over. All right. I'm going to start with the bottom. Start at the bottom of the saddle horn. You pull it, twist it, go over. You just do like little figure eights. All right. There you go, and then you keep doing, put a new new wrap on. All right. All right, also when you're putting this stuff on, you wanna make sure that it's not so tight so when you wrap your rope around here, you don't want this stuff so tight that it doesn't bite into the, the rubber. All right, you also don't want it so loose that if you wrap your rope around it, it sucks in so tight that you can't get it undone. So you gotta find the balance of it, of what, of how loose and how tight you put these on. So, just a tip. And All right, another tip I forgot to mention was how much do you put on here? Well, you don't want so much rubber on here that the rope could pop off the top of here. So if you got so much rubber past here that you dally and the rope can come off of this. So you definitely wanna make sure that your rope can get underneath that. So as long as you don't have more than that, I'd say keep, keep a good amount on there to make sure you got enough, but not too little, so.